other viewers and subscribers to the Enduro Lexus channel. Now in the past some of you have had a couple of questions about the various kits and equipment that I use, the jacket, the helmet and the knee pads for example. So I thought a good thing would be for in the next couple of episodes if I talked about them. In this episode this week we'll start off with the Wolf Sport helmet that I've chosen. Why exactly this one? Well, the main reason is at 70 pounds, which I think I bought it for at the time. I put the link down at the bottom of the video from where I got it. I hope I find it again. Um, uh, you know, you just can't fault it, and it does the job pretty much like any other helmet, and in some extent, it's to some, to some extent almost even better. Now, I had helmets in the past like this before, and the one thing that attracted me to this one, which made me feel safer, was just simply the fact that here for the beak, it had four screws that attach it to the helmet, which is very important for me because in the past I had one which I had only three. And uh, one of the screws popped out, came loose, and it was flapping about a bit. And the wind came, picked up the beak, and because there were only two screws on there instead of three, um, the wind managed to pull the helmet over, over my face even though I had it tied up nicely and uh, I couldn't see where I was going because my f this bit here, the nose bit, was, was uh, covering my, my face and I went into the central reservation and uh, my motorcycle did and I nearly fell onto the other side of the road and uh, it's funny because all my friends they now joke that uh, I am the uh, only motorcyclist they know who nearly got killed by his own safety equipment at the time. Another great thing about this helmet, if you want to, you can of course wear it with goggles if that is your thing, but uh, on the other hand there also is this visor here. Another attractive feature of the Wolfsport helmet is that it comes with this locking mechanism with which you can secure the helmet. Yes, and in the summer things can get a bit sweaty and hot, and so this helmet allows you to take out the various inner layers quite easily, and then you can just simply stick them into the washing machine and uh, reinsert them afterwards. It comes with these various buttons here and it's very easy to take in and out and uh, it fits every time, so that's an another relief. So there you have it, a Wolf Sport helmet. An excellent riding solution for all those trips off-road and also on the motorway. It's a nice combination of everything and once again, at such a cheap price, it's just a must-buy, I think. As part of our product review videos, we will, to share tips, also have a look at some of the places I ride to in Europe and the UK. And in this episode, it is the turn of the Lake District, with obviously its lakes, but also the many picturesque mountains. I stayed at the Dalkeith Guest House, which was one of the few which could offer me a single room, as people seem to visit the area all year round. Riding around the Lake District, I met some friendly motorcyclists who showed me some fascinating sights and told me of the mountain passes that make the Lake District an interesting location for motorcyclists. I eventually found the Honister Pass on the B5289 road, which is one of the highest in the region at 1167 feet and also the steepest. And what a spectacular view it offered on the way down. In our next episodes, we will look at the knee pads I use and why, and also the heated gloves I have. I also wrote to the Brecon Beacons again, and will share with you some of the tips about the area as well. See you then!